Hey travelers, welcome back to One Suitcase. I'm Joe. Today we're going to talk about why you should not rent a car in Waikiki. I'm going to go through the pros and cons. Also, I'm going to share with you the alternatives, which ironically include renting a car, but in a different sort of way that'll save you a bunch of money. So stick around, watch the whole video. It's only going to be five or seven minutes. And um, here we go. Welcome back travelers. So we're gonna jump right into it. The reason you should not rent a car in Waikiki, actually there's several reasons, but I'll start right off with the first one being parking. Parking in Waikiki is absolutely impossible without spending a fortune. So if you park at a hotel or a parking garage downtown, you're gonna spend anywhere from probably $20 a night on the low end to $50, $60 on the high end. Most of them fall in that 35 to 50 range. So that's a huge additional cost. I'd rather you spend that money on my tides. The second reason is you really don't need one. There's really not a reason to have a rental car if you're staying in Waikiki. And I'm gonna go through how you can get around and how you can rent a car without actually renting a car at the airport. Um, so we'll jump right in. So the, the first option, I call it the Shoe Leather Express. Waikiki is a super walkable town. It's only a few miles. Most of what you're gonna to wanna to do, you can probably walk to. I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on that, but if you just wanna walk, you're definitely able to do that. All right. so. My first, other than walking and driving a car, the first one is these, it's called Beaky or Bikey. I'm not sure how you say it. If you know, drop a comment. I call it the Beaky because it's in Waikiki. It makes sense to me. But these Beaky bikes are everywhere. So this is a typical Beaky station. The bikes pull into this rack. There's a locker or a bar that goes across there and locks them in. They've got a basket kind of contraption in the front where you can put a bag of groceries or whatever you need, a 12 pack of beer, whatever. And uh, they got adjustable seats, snow crossbar, super easy to ride, super simple to operate. And what you do is you just ride them from one station to the next. When you get to the next station, you just put it back in, it locks and you're done. This is the pay station, super easy. The, the best program I think probably if you're here on vacation is the multi-stop, it's 30 bucks. That gives you six hours of riding time. So again, you may take a ride, but there's so many Beaky stations. This is how many there are in Waikiki. Uh, should meet your needs real well. So again, Beaky is easy. Pick it up one place, drop it off at the next place, and you're all set. All right, another option for transportation, if you don't feel like riding a bike, is to ride one of these electric scooters. Now, these go about 15 miles an hour. They're great for getting around town. They're, I find them a little bumpy. Personally, I rented them. I was not super impressed. You feel every bump, there's no shocks. So if you're not on smooth pavement, they tend to jostle you around a little bit. But they're cheap and they're easy to use. Two tips on those. So one is if you download the, the main one here is called GoX. If you download the GoX app and you don't book anything for 24 hours, they'll send you a coupon for a free ride. So even if you just want to try one out, download the app, wait a day, they'll send you a coupon, you get 10 bucks, it's, I think it's a half hour, something like that. For free, you can check it out, see if it's something you like. They tend to be, uh, I was here with my wife and my son. We rented them one day just to get from one end of town to the other end of town, which is about, I don't know, not very long, 10 minutes maybe. And uh, it ended up costing us 30 bucks between the three of us. So not a real economical option, but if you want to try one, they're kind of fun. So give it a go. So here's a couple of typical locations. One thing to know with these is you have to return them to a play, then authorized location you can't just leave them inside the street otherwise they charge you some huge amount of money it's like a hundred bucks so just be aware of that otherwise that's the scooter game all right if you absolutely need a car there's a few ways you can do it so most of the people that we've run into here don't need a car full-time they just need it for an hour or two they want to run to costco they want to get some steaks to cook for dinner go to the grocery store or whatever there's a couple great options one is huey and the other one is uh called Zipcar. So the, the, the Huey app, the way that works is they have Huey and uh, Zipcar. They have cars stationed all around town in parking lots. You don't pay for parking. You don't pay for insurance. You don't have to fill up the gas. It's nothing. You just go on the app. You reserve the car that you want, and you go pick it up at the local you know, uh, parking lot. So, again, you're not having to pay for that parking, which can be $35 to $50 you know, a night. You just grab a car. You need to run to the store. You need to go take a trip. You do it. Um, this is the Huey one. It's I believe Huey is twelve bucks an hour is what they charge. So again, compared to a rental car, that's super cheap, especially if you only need it for a couple of hours. Their day rate is one hundred twenty-five bucks. 
Zipcar is real similar. We'll go to Zipcar now. Zipcar does have a monthly fee of nine bucks, but you can cancel any time. So you'd pay one nine dollar fee. You could rent as many cars as you want. And uh, I believe the zip car is around eleven dollars an hour, just slightly less, but um, still real, real reasonable, um, you know, cost as opposed to renting a car. And then third, if you want to rent a car locally, even in the the basement of our hotel of our condo that we're in, there's an Enterprise and a Thrifty or Alamo, something like that. Um, and you can rent them on the strip for a lot cheaper than you can at the airport. So. Definitely, if you want to rent a car, there's also 808 Smart Cars, it's called. They rent smart cars all over town. There's a half a dozen different locations that rent smart cars. So especially if you're a small group, if there's only two people, smart cars are pretty small. But uh, they'll get you around. You can rent those for about 35 bucks a day, I think. So again, when you figure parking can be $50, renting a car for 30 or 40 is a pretty good deal. Uber and Lyft, let's talk about those. Uber and Lyft are super accessible here in Waikiki. I've never waited more than I would say five minutes, but I would say probably really realistically 10 minutes. I've never waited longer than that for an Uber Lyft. They're always available. There's, there seems to be plenty of drivers. So in my experience, it hasn't been a lot of surge. So you're not paying huge money for them. Uh, my wife takes one to work every day that she works. It's about three miles from here and it runs 10 to $12. So they're not expensive. It's a great way to get around uh, and just have a good time and not worry about having to drive. Okay, if you're really on a budget, another option is the bus. The bus, that's what it's called here, the bus, goes everywhere that you want to go. So you can get anywhere on this island on the bus. The bus goes, you'll see them in Waikiki going up and down and up and down. There's a bus every 30 seconds or less, it seems like. So it seems like it's not something I personally have a lot of experience with, but I know a lot of people that do, and you can get anywhere that you want to go on the bus for really short money. So that's definitely an option if you're uh, just wanting to run around, you can take a bus from the airport, you can get to the North Shore, you can go wherever you wanna go on the bus. <clears throat> All right, so here's my final and probably my favorite way to get around Waikiki is by moped. And here's what mine looks like. Isn't she beautiful? So my wife and I, when we first got here, we actually just bought mopeds. And uh, in hindsight, we've been here for a year, so it was probably worth it for us, although I've had two of them stolen, so maybe not. Uh, but you can rent mopeds really easily. So I'm gonna go cut to my computer. I'll show you my favorite place to rent. So this is a company I recommend, Hawaiian Style Rentals. They're right here in Waikiki. Uh, super easy, all you need is a driver's license. Uh, they do rent, they do mopeds, and they also do the things called scoot coops. So here's their mopeds. Just pick a standard one here to give you an idea of the cost. Half day, 30 bucks. Full day, 35 bucks. Overnight, 50 bucks. A week, 25 bucks a day. And a month is $450. So just give you an idea of cost. They do rent these uh, scoot coops, but I do not recommend them. And I'll tell you why. The, the scoot coops are slow, and it will really inhibit where you're able to go. So uh, when you rent these, they've got the same engine as a moped. But with two people in this heavy frame and everything, they're just not quick enough to go to a lot of places that you like to go. Uh, the Hawaiian style provides great maps. And just to give you kind of an idea of, of where you can go on the island, they kind of break it down. They give you these maps when you go there, too. They're free. Uh, one of my favorite rides is to go down along this coastline. You go past Sonoma Bay and uh, over. That's a great, great ride. Beautiful scenery. You ride right along the ocean. Uh, but again, you can't do that in a scoop group. So stick with the mopeds. So there you have it. That's how you get around Waikiki. If you're coming to Hawaii, I got a ton of great videos coming up. We're, we've been here for over a year, just trying to get my channel going, but we're over the next month, I'm gonna upload probably you know, 20 or 30 different videos. We'll save you a bunch of money and, and do a lot of the homework for you. So if you like this video, be sure and like and subscribe, hit that notification bell, all the rest of it, you know the drill. I'll see you on the next one.